WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Professor Schwartz here once again, enjoying a fresh mug of coffee with my good buddy Onyx the Cat gazing at me with those big yellow eyes. Join me today to learn about eight ways you can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. When you follow the advice presented in today's program, you set yourself up to succeed through the active cultivation of numerous 21st century employability skills as you and your student learning team examine course materials, create, and share new knowledge about those each week. Through that ongoing and democratic process of collaboration, your own learning and related coursework become more cohesive, efficient, meaningful, longer-lasting, and directly related to your life and career after graduation. In one moment, we'll jump into what a growth mindset is and look at how you can adopt that same approach in your digital collaborative learning as part of your coursework this semester. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Today, let's look at the eight ways you can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. But first, let's define what a growth mindset is and look quickly at its opposite, the fixed mindset. In the 1990s, human motivation researcher Carol Dweck became interested in students' attitudes about failure. She noticed that some bounced back quickly from setbacks, while others seemed to have more difficulty when faced with unexpected challenges. After considerable study of the issue, Dweck coined the term growth mindset to describe the underlying beliefs people have about learning and intelligence. When people believe that they can improve and become smarter, they understand that trying harder and empowering themselves to succeed helps them do that. As a result, they put in extra time and effort, which leads to better learning and higher achievement. By contrast, a fixed mindset is when people think of intelligence as something that is static and incapable of growth or change. Students with a fixed mindset have the attitude that a subject or topic area is too hard to learn. I can't do it, they might imagine. I made a mistake. That means I'm not good at this. I don't get it. I'll never be as capable as others. I shouldn't have to do it. I give up. Have you ever had similar thoughts about something that didn't come easily to you? High School Algebra 2 and Geometry, (laughs) way back in the early 1980s, were my own personal stumbling blocks. At some point in the 10th and 11th grades, I got lost and felt like I could no longer understand either subject. I closed my mind, basically gave up, and received quite a few failing grades in the process. That is a prime example of Dweck's fixed mindset and the unfortunate results. Years later, I had to redouble my efforts to pass both courses in order to finish my bachelor's degree and get accepted into graduate school. So I know firsthand about (laughs) discouraging challenges, the time, effort, and sheer will necessary to overcome them. But that's a story for another time. Following a quick station identification, we'll examine the eight ways you can adopt a growth mindset in your own digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. See you in one moment. You're listening to WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining me again, everyone. Let's talk more about the growth mindset and how you can adopt that approach in your own digital collaborative learning for this course. First of all, change your attitude. A major part of adopting what Carol Dweck calls a growth mindset involves adjusting your own attitude and approach. 
you have the capacity to learn and develop new skills and knowledge. And occasional failure provides us with a valuable lesson plus related learning experience in our academic and personal growth. Secondly, envision the favorable result or results you want, plan, practice, and work consistently to get there. People who are good at something, whatever that might be, are skilled because they have worked to build up their abilities over time through repeated effort. It's not unlike developing skills in a particular sport or learning a musical instrument, for example. In other words, you are in control of your abilities by the way or the effort you put in to increasing your knowledge and skills, whether that is studying more often, working with a tutor, or allowing yourself more time to complete an assignment simply by procrastinating less and starting your work sooner. In one moment, we'll continue our look at how to adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning as part of your coursework. I'll be back in two shakes. Hello again, everyone. So far, we have considered what a growth mindset is, its opposite, the fixed mindset, and we've looked at how a few changes in attitude can favorably affect your approach to something that does not come easily to you. Let's move now to examining a few more of the ways you can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning as part of your work for this course. When it comes to adopting a growth mindset in connection to your work for this or other courses, another important practice involves a conscious focus by you on the process of getting better or improving your skills, abilities, and knowledge. View occasional setbacks or mistakes as learning opportunities and ways to improve. Challenges are not something to avoid, in other words. Rather, they are something to push through. Fourth, become more receptive to constructive feedback that you receive from classmates or instructors along the way. Rather than becoming defensive about negative results, related critique, and taking that personally, choose instead to use that feedback to your advantage. Instead of ignoring criticism, greeting unexpected feedback angrily, or just shutting down, make up your mind to learn from it instead. Integrate that feedback into your approach as you retool and revise how you approach later assignments or projects based on that feedback. Following another station identification, we'll look at other ways you can approach your digital collaborative learning with a growth mindset. You're listening to WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. And we're back. Let's return now to how you can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning as part of your coursework. Tip 5. Embrace challenges and difficulties. Hey, it's great when we pick up new knowledge and skills with relative ease, but sometimes learning is not always quite like that. A key part of the growth mindset, however, is the realization that intelligence and ability are things that can be developed as we've already established. That honest admission to yourself leads, in turn, to a renewed desire to learn, plus an increased tendency to accept and face related challenges head-on. Choosing to view effort as a path to mastery of a challenging subject area, topic, or task better enables you to persist in the face of early setbacks or mistakes, whether those are your own or a student learning team member's. Remember that playing the blame game is neither helpful nor productive. What will help the situation is a conscious decision to double down, work harder, and put in the time necessary to learn and excel. Point six, learn to revel in the successes of others. Avoid feeling threatened when people around you do well, in other words. Students who approach challenges with a growth mindset choose to find both valuable lessons in and draw inspiration from the successes of others. 
As a result, those who adopt a growth mindset attain higher levels of achievement, enjoy a greater sense of free will, and control over their activities, along with related higher grades in a course. In one minute, I'll be right back with the last couple of ways you can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning as part of the work for this course. I'll be right back. Hello again, everyone. Okay, that will almost do it for this episode on how you can adopt Carol Dweck's growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning as part of your work for this course. But let's finish with two final points before we go. A seventh key part of Carol Dweck's growth mindset is persistence. When you adopt a growth mindset, you approach challenges with an unshakable stick to In other words, you avoid getting discouraged and giving up easily if or when a subject, task, or process requires elbow grease. Instead, you assess the situation and determine what you need to do to move forward in a more productive way. It's not unlike using the problem-solving template developed by the Foundation for Critical Thinking, which I've pasted into the description below for easy referral. Last, View challenges and your work to overcome them as a key part of your intellectual growth. Avoid seeing the extra effort necessary to improve your knowledge, skills, and abilities as a pointless waste of time. Remember, learning is not always easy. Contrary to what some might think, occasional mistakes and setbacks are not a reason to fall to pieces, complain, or expect someone else to fix for you. None of that puts you in charge of your own learning. By contrast, adopting a growth mindset empowers you to persevere in the face of challenges and increase your skills or abilities as you navigate those same difficulties. Through the adoption of a growth mindset, you come to view challenges as opportunities to grow, train your brain, embrace, and overcome current weaknesses in your knowledge and skills. You're listening to WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay, everyone, we have reached the end of today's episode on how you too can adopt a growth mindset in your digital collaborative learning. To recap the points covered today, you can adopt Dweck's growth mindset in the following eight ways. One, change your attitude when things do not come easily. Two, envision the results you want to achieve. Three, develop improved focus. Four, become more receptive to constructive feedback. Five, embrace challenges. Six, take pleasure in and learn from the successes of others. 7. Be persistent if or when difficulties arise. And finally, point 8. View occasional challenges as key to your own intellectual growth as a person, student, and future employee after graduation. Follow the advice presented in today's program, and you too can improve your approach to learning, routine collaboration with your student learning team, and course outcomes. More broadly, Remember that intellectual agility is a vital 21st century employability skill that has direct bearing on your long-term participation within the globalized digital economy. So you want to do your level best to cultivate that flexibility now. And that will do it for today, everyone. Tune in again for more helpful tips, tricks, and advice based on my 25-plus years of teaching and working with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities across the upper Midwest of the United States. Thanks for joining me today, and be sure to tune in again. I'll see you in class, online, or during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Stay healthy, have a safe and a productive week in the meantime. With special regards, <laughs> from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone.
You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.